Hey there guys, Raj here. Hope you guys are well. Long time no see. Haven't done a video in a while and, and that kind of is like the nature of my channel. I won't do videos uh, every day but I'll pop up with them now and again. So I wanted to do a, a recent pickup video for you guys. So these are all of the cigars that I've bought over the last few months. And um, yeah, I've got like mainly some Cubans in here, but also some non-Cubans too. So a decent mixture of, of cigars. Uh, my humidor was actually running low on stock, so wanted to uh, fill up, but not too much because next month I'm actually going to Madrid. So great deals to be found in Spain. So yeah, there'll probably be some more cigars to show you guys when I'm back. So, okay, so the first two boxes to show you are from CigarOne.com, the Swiss-based, um, I guess it's an e-tailer, they're a, they're a website, really good, like legit, great deals, they have discounts often, It's um, they have like limited editions and like vintage cigars too, so definitely a place if you're a Cuban lover, CigarOne.com to check out. I have obviously taken these out of the box and put them in my humidor but I will show you I've taken the tray out of my humidor too to show you so the first um, first ones to show you are from punch and here is the box I got uh, a box of 25 of punch punch there you go and so this is the first brand a kind of a brand that's maybe maybe a little bit overlooked. Um, first time I tried these cigars, which you'll see in a second, I was in London in a hotel called the Lanesborough Hotel, and um, a really nice place to go to, by the way. If you're ever in London, go to the Lanesborough, go to the garden room, check out their really cool humidor, and uh, it's a bit pricey, but now and again, it's you know it's, it's, it's a nice thing to do. Smoked one in here, which I think had been in their humidor for a while, because it was so sweet and it was just amazing. Thought I had to get a box. Don't really know too much about Punch. So this was kind of like my intro into the brand. And then secondly, a brand that I do know quite, or uh, I think, they, what are they called? Vitolas or Marcas? Marcas, I think, brands within the Habanos SA range. Uh, Particus, probably my favorite one of the, of the lot. This is a classic, probably my favorite cigar of all time, actually. And... Uh, these are Particus D4s. And by the way, I forgot to show the dates on the other one, but these are fairly newer boxes. So this is a July 2017 box, and the punch was also 2017, but June. So, I mean, look, I got them for a good price, and ideally I would have liked maybe something like 2016 or something like that, but can't complain. I'm gonna keep them in my humidor and like see how they develop over time. So as I said, I took the tray out of my um, my humidor, so just to show you guys what they look like. So over here, in case you don't know, these are the punches, and on the right are the particuses. The punch is an interesting one. Let me get this one out because, you know, a lot of people will talk about like the Monte Cristos and the Cahibas and um, the more well-known like Partagas, but Punch actually, you know, this is a really nice size actually. It's got a good, decent ring gauge, nothing too massive, probably 46 I think it is, and it's a cigar that will last you over over an hour. From what I remember from the cigar I had in the Lanesboro, which I've actually tasted a couple of times, super sweet, like an oil slick of like creamy honey like sort of coffee sweetness on your on your lips and on your palate so looking forward to seeing how this ages over time it's a good smoke good size i like it and the d4 you know it's the d4 it's, it's probably one of the best cigars out there tons of flavor uh, quite powerful actually probably needs a few months of age at least uh, ideally a few years um but to get the kind of full flavor, never really smoked one with a lot of age. I would love to smoke a D4 with like five years or 10 years. I imagine they get snapped up quite quickly and, and get quite pricey. But D4, one of the best Cuban cigars out there. If you're, if you're like, you don't really know much about Cuban cigars, but you do like more fuller flavor, just go to Partigas, really, like you can't go wrong. Okay, so a couple more Cubans to show you guys. Uh, these cigars I'm about to show you, I got from the website cigars.com, who are a UK-based retailer. They also have a few shops around uh, UK as well, 
you can't go wrong with 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 that with their service and everything their selection and uh was keen to get my hands on this one because as you can see it's got a second band this is from bolivar this is a royal corona but this particular one if you can see it says uh selection orchant or orchant selection so the guy who owns this brat owns cigars uh mitchell orchant he kind of like does this he will sort of take a particular vintage or a crop or batch or whatever and he'll determine that they are really really good so he'll put his his band on them and these are actually the reason i really wanted to try this was not be because of that it was mainly because these are from 2016 so the bolivar is a quite a potent um quite a quite a strong flavor profile um and strength as well so i was keen to see how a couple of years at least of age on this one would go uh bolivar rural corona lots of coffee lots of deep earthy flavors and a really good smoke so keen to see how uh, just a couple of years it's not a huge amount of age on it but a couple of years keen to see how it how it's developed and uh, talking about a few years of age this is from h upman from the annie hados line this is their latest release that habanos have released there is the the partigas there's the the churchill from monte cristo the romeo julieta um pyramides and the hoyo de monterey one as well and now H Upman joins joins the party as well. So this should be quite interesting. Not a not a huge smoke, a a, you know, a decent amount of size. The annual Hados range, they're like between five and eight years of age on them. Um, some of them are a little bit like hit or miss. Um, I, I generally like most of them. I, I think probably uh, probably the Partigas and then the Hoyo were my favourites. And yeah, so this is a good cigar. Ho hopefully this is a good cigar. Might actually smoke this one today and do a little cheeky uh, smoke of the day, cigar of the day video for you guys. Okay, so going on to some non-Cubans and I've got three from Davidoff. The first one is, well the first two are actually from the, the Winston Churchill range. So this one is called, uh, I've got the name here actually. This is just called the Bellicoso. It used to be known as the Lancaster really small um, sort of bellicoso shaped cigar so there you can just about see Winston Churchill his silhouette the famous silhouette and there you go Winston Churchill and uh, obviously Geneva or Genève so small little cigar you know this is kind of like probably a half an hour job maybe quicker if you're a faster smoker keen to see how this one goes keen to see how this one goes and also keen to see how this one is this is the robusto size because i have smoked this in the churchill size i've had about two or three of those such a nice cigar really really nice nice soft creamy subtle but sort of very noticeable flavors great construction in the churchill so i'm hoping uh, the robusto, which is probably more of my more more of my preferred size, I want to hopefully this one tastes really good as well. I mean, Davidoff, you always get quality. You do pay a little bit more, but you get a great smoke. I mean, that Churchill. If as I said, I'm going to Madrid, and if they have some in their shops or maybe in duty free, and if they you know have a box or you know, I'm tempted to get them. Tempted to get some. Uh, and then finishing off with uh, Davidoff, this one is an interesting one because this is, again, so I mentioned Mitchell Orchant, who is the owner of Seagars, and he's done like some sort of collaboration or something with Davidoff, and he's come up with his own blend called the Orchant Selection in the Lancero. So there you can see, it says Lancero. He's got the Davidoff uh, logo there. Don't know if it's going to focus and then yeah you know a nice little size here lancero i don't really smoke many lanceros i have it had a few um one thing i do know is like they got to be rolled quite carefully to to ensure against any plugging and make sure the drawer is right but davidoff you really can't go wrong if for me like all the davidoff cigars i've smoked construction has been really really good so yeah i think i might just keep this one actually for the summertime i'm going to keep this one in my humidor and sort of like bust this one out when the weather gets good and i can sit in my office wherever i am uh with a nice sun hitting my face and a nice drink like enjoying the lancero so yeah and then the final two cigars to show you 
from uh, Undercrown. So this one is the. Uh, so no, this is uh, this is this is what is this? This is Drew Estate. So this is Drew Estate Undercrown, uh, robusto size in one in the shade and one in the other one. I don't know. I have actually smoked this one. Was really impressed. I really really liked it. The flavors were were definitely on the milder side. Um, but yeah, really nice actually. And let me just get a close up if I can. There you go. Cool band. I like the band. I like the band. So yeah, I want to smoke a couple more of these before I get a real sort of idea of what what they're all about. I don't really know too much about uh, Drew Estate, but you know that's the whole thing about cigars and like there's so many out there, especially. The non-Cubans, there's like loads, so many brands like popping up all the time that I hear about. So keen to see how these go. So yeah, I got a decent bunch of cigars in here, guys. I, I have actually cut down the amount I smoke. I try to stick with nothing more than like once every couple of weeks, except when I'm on holiday and then all the rules go out the window. But yeah, I'm going to Madrid next month. So looking forward to smoking some good cigars out there, buying some as well for pretty good prices. And then when I'm back, uh, I'll show you what, I, what I've got, hopefully some good ones, and maybe while I'm out there, I'll do a couple of videos as well. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried any of these? What cigars have you picked up recently or you're keen to, to pick up? Um, yeah, that's it for now. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.